So what we want to do is shape the data that we're returning to the client so that we don't run into this self-referencing loop issue that we are doing at the moment. So let's head back to VS Code. And what we want to do inside here, inside our application activities folder, we're going to create two different DTOs. And DTOs are just simple classes with properties. And it's these simple DTO classes we're going to return instead of returning our domain entities, which is what we're currently doing at the moment. So inside our activities, I'm just going to create a new C Sharp class. And I'm just going to create one called activity DTO. And inside our activity DTO is going to be mostly the same as what we're already returning with one difference. So I'm just going to copy the properties from inside the activity class from our domain entity and paste this into my activity DTO because we still want to return these properties. And what we also want to return is a collection of attendees. So let's go ahead and create another DTO, another C Sharp class, and this one I'm just going to call attendee DTO. And inside this one, we'll just add the properties that we want to return for the user object that we get as part of our related data. So this one's going to be a prop string and username. For the first property, we'll also return the display name. So I'll say prop string and display name. We'll also return the image for the user as well. So I'll specify the image. And we'll also return the Boolean to specify if the user is a host. And then what we want to do for our activity DTO is return a collection of attendee DTOs instead of the user activity. So what we'll do, we'll just add another property here of iCollection. And this will be a collection of attendee DTOs. And we'll call it attendees instead of user activity. And I'll just bring in system collections generic as well. So what we'll need to do is return the activity DTO instead of the activity in both our details request and our list request. And we'll start with the detailed request. And what we'll do instead of returning the activity, we're simply going to return the activity DTO. And we'll also need to update the activity here in the handler to activity DTO as well as what we're returning in the task as well. And then we get an error because we can't convert a domain activity to our new activity DTO. So what we could do is do this manually and say return new activity DTO and then just manually map all of the properties that make up our activity DTO. But that becomes very tedious very, very quickly. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to introduce a new package into our application, a very popular package for automatically mapping our properties from our, let's open up the activity, automatically mapping our properties in our activity to the properties that are in our activity DTO. And what we're going to take a look at next is introducing AutoMapper into our application.